If you're studying in the sciences and you find the terminology complicated, mysterious, off-putting, my most important piece of advice is to tackle it head on. Just spend an hour with a dictionary looking up etymologies. It will totally be worth your time. I mean, let's take endoplasmic reticulum, right? Sounds complicated, sounds mysterious. Endo means in, in Greek. Plasm basically means stuff. In Latin, retic or reticule means a net. Reticulum basically means it's a little net. The little net in the stuff. That is seriously all this says. The little net in the stuff. Endoplasmic reticulum. Why, why did they do this? They did not do this in order to be annoying. It's a historical accident, right? They weren't trying to be mysterious. It's just the Middle Ages happened and nobody did science for a thousand years. And then when people in the West said, oh, we want to try out this science stuff and maybe go somewhere with it this time. The only place they had to learn the basics from were old books that were in Greek and Latin. And when there's only a handful of scientists in the world, they're all going to speak different languages. So how are they going to talk to each other? They all had to learn Latin and Greek in order to read the old books. So that's how they wrote things down and that's how they wrote to each other. They were speaking plain English. They were just doing it in ancient Greek. You will see this constantly in biology. Biologists above all should just spend a while learning some Greek. A whole bunch of things that will make translating things easier. The proencephalon means the front of the head. I mean, come on, they're saying plain things. So don't let the language throw you off.